Hello guys, good evening and welcome back. Alright, so in this video, I am here to outline some points that can cause a fashion brand to fail. Now, in my previous videos I have been making, I have been trying to outline some points that can make a fashion brand to grow, how to grow your social media visibility and how to attract more customers. Now, I got a call that someone asked me that what and what causes a fashion brand to fail. So in today's video, I am here to list out these points and for you to know. Now, be in mind that these points are um, what is po or what are popular, right? Now, there are no play uh, a lot of them, but these ones are the ones that I can lay my hands on. So now, it does not really restrict or limit the points to only these areas I am going to apply in this video, but rather, it is going to give you an insight of what the general problems can be, right? So, if you are a first-time viewer, you are welcome to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, you are still welcome. Please make sure you watch the video to the end and make sure you comment. Give me a thumbs up and turn on the post notification bell for you to be notified whenever I make or post new videos. Now, I will list out the points in accordance to how it is now fashion brands right can actually fail for various reasons right now um they are not peculiar or particular to this but let me hear some common factors that can um, um contribute to the failure of a fashion brand so you might just want to jot them down to study them more or watch the video over and over again. Then number one of the points is lack of unique identity. Lack of unique identity. Now, failing to establish a distinctive um, brand identity, right, and style can lead to um, being lost in a crowded market right so you must make sure you have a unique identity for your brand or label then number two is poor quality in your production right now producing low quality clothing or accessories right can quickly tarnish a brand's image if you are inclined to um, produce low quality accessories, it can tarnish a brand's image or reputation, right? Now, number three is inadequate marketing, right? Now, insufficient or ineffective marketing can prevent a brand from reaching its targets, right? Um, by so doing, your audience will reduce. So you must make sure you reach your target audience, right? Now, number four is ignoring trends. Now, when a brand fails to stay updated with current fashion trends, trends in terms of clothing and upgrade, it can make a brand to seem outdated. And trends in terms of machineries and everything can make you feel outdated if you're using butterfly machine to sew. Now, over expansion. Now, rapid expansion without a strong foundation um, can lead to financial instability. So, you must make sure before you expand, you must have a starting customer base before you can think of expansion, right? Now, number six is ignoring sustainability, right? In today's eco conscious world, right? Ignoring sustainability con um, um, concerns can alienate um, consumers, right? So um, you need to make sure you study the economy and know what is trending. Number seven is ineffective pricing. Ineffective pricing. Pricing products too high or too low, right, can deter potential customers that's giving inadequate prices either too high or too low can deter your customers 
Then number eight is bad management, right? Now, poor leadership, mismanagement of resources, or lack of clear business strategy can lead to failure in your business. This can be attracted to any field of skill, right? Now, number nine is failure to adapt. Failure to adapt. Inability to adapt to changing um, consumer um, preferences and tastes and wants or market dynamics can be detrimental to your brand, right? Then number 10 is legal issues, <laughs> legal issues. Now, when you face lawsuits or for copyright infringement, you know, um, or other related um, legal issues or legal matters, this will go, this can drain um, resources when you finish funding your way out in from that legal issues, right? So make sure you stay away from copyright infringement. Now, supply chain issues. Now, problems with sourcing of fabrics, materials, sewing accessories, or production delays can disrupt um, business growth or operations, right? Now, um, number 12 we have here is um, inadequate financial planning. Inadequate financial planning. Now, poor financial management or lack of capital or funding, which most people face here in Nigeria, can lead to bankruptcy, right? Now, this is just what most people are after, the number 12, but there are more to this. Now, number 13 is negative publicity, right? Scandals, controversies involving the brand can drag you down, right? On Facebook dragging, you know, it can damage your reputation as a brand and it cannot be replaced, right? And it cannot be repaired, right? So make sure you avoid these things. Now, number 14 is fecal industry. Fecal industry. Now, the fashion industry can be highly unpredictable and um, competitive, right? So um, making it... Um, challenging for low brands or new brands rather to thrive just like what we are facing currently in nigeria right now brands are surviving to exist or to stand number 15 is failing to connect with the target audience failing to connect with your target audience now not understanding or resonating with the desires of your target markets can result in low sales. If you have a certain people you produce clothes for, you must make sure you connect with them as often as possible, right? Then 16 is innovation deficiency. Um, fashion is all about um, creativity, innovations, you know, you tend to grow on daily. Right, so failing to innovate can lead to stagnation in your brand, in your business. Right now, number 17 we have here is inconsistent branding. Inconsistent branding, inconsistency in branding and messaging, right, can confuse consumers. If you don't have a, a brand that you're consistent with, a brand name that you're consistent with, it can confuse your customers or your consumers. Now, number 18 is inefficient inventory management. Inefficient inventory management. Overstocking or understocking can impact the bottom line. I will talk more on this after the, at, the, at the end of the video. So make sure you, you watch the end of the video to know what more about this. Now, number 19 is ignoring e-commerce. Ignoring e-commerce. 
neglecting online sales channels in today's digital age can limit reach that if you as people that say i'm not used to facebook i can't post on facebook or instagram my dear you're not going to grow anywhere number 20 is economic factors which is general for everybody economic meltdown downturns or external factors right can affect um any brand any consumer right um um, um it can also limit their consumer spending so people are conscious of how to spend money currently now in Nigeria and globally. Now, fashion brands that, that succeed often have a combination of a unique vision quality, have a combination of a unique vision, quality products, right? Effective marketing, adaptative, uh, adaptability, and financial stability. So any brand that you see that, that is doing well now have studied these areas I mentioned. Now, avoiding these common pitfalls can increase the chances of success in um, the competitive fashion industry. Right? So now, if you have watched this video to this very point, you understand that there are some points that you never knew about and i just highlighted them for you now let me come down to a layman's understanding or to a layman's level so i have met some fashion designers by 10 o'clock they are yet to open their shop offices if you ask them why they will say they don't have customers that what are they going there to do now i keep asking them does it mean that before you go to your office is when you have a customer coming or you have a customer job you are doing? You are meant to be in your office 247, except on some particular days or instances or issues that you, you that that you need to attend to. Right? So even though you don't have a clothes you are making, once it's morning, dress up, go to your office, pray and await for the day's blessing from God. Because you might not know the particular day your desired customer will step in. So if you wait before the person comes, before you take your job serious, that means you're not ready for growth, right? So these are more are what some of us are doing wrong that can lead to our brands to fail. Now more often, more, more points to this is some Persons as well do um, take their job on serious. You know, they are looking for the bigger money. They are looking for the bigger clients that will come and give them money for work in bulk. So they ignore those little, little jobs they get. Now, this will as well lead to your brand to fail. Because if you did not, or if you are not able to deliver a single shirt, how more often can you be able to deliver a dozen of it? If you're not able to deliver a school uniform, how, how capable are you to deliver a wedding outfit? So these are the foundations that you should not ignore because somebody you met a single shirt for can come back tomorrow for pair, three, five, six, and dozen and give you bigger jobs, right? So if you want to grow, Take every job that comes to your work seriously. It's better off that you state to your customer that you don't do this job than taking the job and do it poorly or finish it poorly. So these are the things I feel that results to brands failing. Now, currently, they have a financial crisis, possibly globally, but I will take Nigeria as a case study. Now, when you are using customer A's money to do the job of customer B, you are, you are also digging a pit hole for your brand to fall in. Because on the long run, you will tend to mismanage your funds and you will not be able to come out of the debt you might fall in. Now, when your brand is in debt, you are owing a lot of customers 
you always use customers' money to foot the bills of other customer jobs, you're not getting it right. Any job that comes into your office should have an account and should have, you should be accounted for rather, and you should be able to make a little saving out of it. Right? Now, furthermore, the, the next thing that people do is they tend to consume all the money they derive or they gain or they get in the offices and they use it for personal projects, personal stuffs. Now you have forgotten that your business is like a newborn baby. For it to grow, you need to nurture the baby to the extent where he or she can walk and cater for him or herself. So if your brand is still struggling to stand, it means you are at the grooming stage. There should be a certain level that your brand will get to. And even if you do not come to shop or your office, the business will move. Because by then, you must have, you must have employed workers. You must have had enough machines. You, have, you must have solved the issue of lightning or source of power to your office. So even if you take a leave or take leave, your business will be growing. But if you are still at the stage where if you come to your shop, that's the only time your shop will move. If you don't come to your office, there will be no job going on. You are still growing. You need to still be grinding harder. And also don't forget that for you to boom your business, you also need to invest your money in, in it. So there is a certain amount of money that you need to inject in your office weekly, monthly, and even daily. This, these monies will be the running cost, the running capital that you will use to run your business on a daily, on a weekly, and on a monthly basis. So you're not meant to leave the shop or your office stranded without any financial strength to cut up for your sewing accessories, your fueling, and every other items needed for your production purposes. Right? Sometimes, a brand, like a brand owner, like for example myself, I, will, I can be broke personally on my own personal account, but I will have a little saving that I have bought up for the shop growth for that week, for that month, or for the day, or for the week. But I won't have enough money for myself to spend for my personal needs. But I must make sure I keep certain amount of money for my business on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, depending on how you want to save your money. Right. So by the time you understand these things, you are you you will build a formidable brand, a brand that you can look back tomorrow and you are you are proud of how you have gone so far. Right. You know, if you have if you are not able to predict the number of customers you get on a daily or monthly or weekly, you are you are yet struggling. That means you need to keep working hard. If calls that comes to your phone, if the 10% of the calls are not for businesses, my brother, my sister, you need to keep grinding. You need to keep grinding. Let your, call, let your phone ring. It is either they're asking you for how much for the job, send account details, they will send you samples to make. You know, let, let there be greater percentage of business calls than personal affair calls. Some of us will be in our office, we will be making love calls, we will be making unnecessary calls that will not contribute to the growth of our business. It's very wrong because you don't know if your client is calling you at that hour to make purchases, to make some businesses. You might say, you, you might say you're on call waiting, probably you will get to see when, when the other call is calling you, but sometimes the person might not be feeling free or feeling all right, seeing that you're on call with him. Or sometimes you might even forget that it has gone off on call with him and it's now number busy, user busy, right? Invariably, I'm not against making your personal calls and your workplace. I'm not against making your love calls, but I think there should be time for everything. If you want to call a loved one during the working hours, let it be snappy. If, if you want to call a family member during your working hour, let it be snappy. If you, if, if you have an issue to discuss with a family member, please put the call to be at the end of your working hour. 
So you have enough time for your personal life. I'm not making love calls at working hours. It's not proper now, right? So I believe this video must have given you some insights and might have pinpointed some errors you are making as a brand owner. And I pray that you will learn from this video and have a positive change on your, in your productions. Don't forget, you need to invest in your business, get machines needed, steam iron, all the three accessories needed to make your work to stand out. I wish you the very best in, in all your endeavors. Bye-bye for now.